Hello everyone, welcome back to the Kukuli Bushcraft channel. Okay, so, seeing as I've got access to lots of huskies, uh, I suppose a lot of you will already know I work on a husky farm here in Finnish Lapland. I thought I'd do a quick video about the Alaskan Husky, which is what most sled dogs, in, at least in this part of the world, are. And, uh, yeah. I uh, I suppose a lot of you have read Call of the Wild. It's uh, for those of you who haven't. It's a story about a dog called Buck who was a pet who was kidnapped and he was taken up to uh, Canada, Klondike, I think. <laughs> I should have uh, I should have read up a little bit. It's a long time since I've uh, read it. Anyway, he got put to work as a sled dog, and uh, this this story is. Yeah, pretty much typical of the kind of thing that happened up there in Canada, Alaska. Yeah, with all the, the gold rush and all of that kind of thing. They they took dogs from everywhere and used them as sled dogs and uh, presumably got rid of the ones that didn't work and kept the ones that did. And what you got was uh, kind of like an Alaskan village dog. So... Yeah, there was uh, aspects of Malamut or Malamut, depending on which way you want to pronounce it, in case anybody tells me I'm pronouncing it wrong. Malamut to me. Uh, that's a native breed. And also, the beginning of the 20th century, they started to bring uh, Chuchi sled dogs across from Siberia, which became known as the Siberian Husky. Uh, they got used for, for racing and... Uh, yeah, so all of these dogs all got mixed up and the Alaskan Husky is what resulted. And it's not an official breed, uh, it's just, you know, I mean, when it comes to getting a job done in the Arctic, breeds actually mean very little. Uh, so it's a general name from for a general dog from, from Alaska. So let's have a look at some of them. In the old days used for delivering the mail, delivering medical supplies, other supplies to rural communities, and also for transporting furs and meat. You can see all of these dogs look very different. Some look quite Siberian husky like, and uh, others not so much. You can see the genetic diversity in these dogs, something that is lacking in in most regular dog breeds, if not all. You can see many typical husky characteristics, such as blue eyes, or sometimes one blue and one brown. On the left here, you see a little bit of a rarity. This is Anton. Anton's got a pedigree. He's a Siberian husky. He's very posh. If you haven't done already, you should read The Call of the Wild by Jack London. It's a really good book, as is White Fang, another great book by the same author. And as if you haven't already, you should come to visit Heta Huskies and come for a husky safari. And also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. OK, so I hope you've all enjoyed this video about the Alaskan husky. And I'll see you all again soon for another Kukuli Bushcraft video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.